Hi everyone, my name is Anang Shalamyan and today I want to show you a very interesting location I'm at currently. So I was in Jaipur, Rajasthan for my friend's wedding. If you have been following my Instagram stories, you would probably know that uh, I really had a blast at my friend's wedding. This was the first time I witnessed a North Indian wedding with all the proper haldi, mehendi, lagan rituals. It was very interesting, it was a lovely experience. Now that the wedding is done, I decided to pamper myself and booked a room at a 200 year old Haveli which has now been converted to a hotel. This is called the Jaipur Haveli. It is located right in the middle of Johari Bazaar in Jaipur and today I want to show you what it's like to stay in this beautiful Haveli which is now converted to a hotel. So let's go ahead and take a tour. This is the first glance at the Jaipur Haveli. There are nine rooms here currently. I got the room at the topmost floor. It's the fourth floor. There is no elevator here, so you have to walk. And since the stairs are like 200 years old, it's a pretty steep climb, but it's fun. There are really cute sitting arrangements here on this really pretty garden. And there's this friendly doggo, Jimmy. He's the loveliest and the smartest boy. Hi, Jimmy. Good boy. So cute. Comes to the guest, he's very friendly and very sweet. And really in love with this cute garden and those fancy Rajput paintings. Look at these alcoves, they are all so intricately designed. And the walls in ancient uh, Jaipur Rajput style. And when we enter the Haveli, this is like the inner courtyard and this is the reception area. And once we walk into this uh, first level courtyard, this is like a small uh, a jewelry sh shop. Uh, if you wish, you can buy some local jewels etc here uh, they put up a metal frame here so that people don't climb up and another is another courtyard inside and that is the dining area this is the dining area hi bolu cute little dining area the kitchen is upstairs so this is the kitchen and this is just like people have just finished having breakfast so some stuff is like still here. This is the terrace. I just came out of my room. This is the terrace and as you can see these are the stairs uh, since this is a 200 year old bungalow. Haveli, the stairs have been left untouched. This is a very pretty old door. These might have been places where fires were lit in the olden days. There is still a nice looking lamp sitting right here. And this is the terrace. The owner told me that this section of the Haveli is the one that the owner's family uses. And it's four floors tall, the whole Haveli. And this is the section where tourists stay. And uh, you can see that there's a very cute little hangout place there. Cute table. Uh, there's a swing. There was also an umbrella there on top of the chairs. But now I think they have removed it since it's evening. A very cute bougainvillea plant flower there. And uh, yeah, so this is another hangout place. And if we go here, you'll see the stairs. And if I come down the stairs, they are pretty narrow stairs, reminiscent of the old days and a beautiful wooden door with this metal lock, which is, I think, locked like this and probably something else, a rod or something used to be placed here in the olden days 
now. Uh, <laughs> I hope I can unlock it. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to do it with one hand. Yes, I managed to do it. So, let's go down the stairs. I will show you around. So now we reach the third floor. Very narrow corridor leading up to a very narrow wooden door. That's probably another of the rooms here. And this is a very nice old wall. The sun is up. It's almost 5.30 p.m. But the sun is still up. This is the pretty swing that I was showing you before. The pretty hangout place. This also looks like another room. But the door is... Let's not <laughs> risk it. Another very narrow corridor leading up to another pretty wooden door. Uh, I would love to go to that place, but I think that's a balcony. It's a balcony of one room. This balcony was probably boarded up or it was probably used by the ladies of the house because it's all boarded up and there is a window there. Not sure. Just my guess. I'll have to ask the owners what exactly this looks like. Uh, this used to look like 200 years ago. Uh, let's go down again through these narrow stairs. This is a place where flames used to be kept in the olden days. This is an antique mirror. So while coming here, Mr. Vikram, who is the owner of this place, he told me that he is very interested in collecting antique mirrors. So this is an old mirror. Even the mirrors in my room are antique. The mirrors in all the rooms in this whole Haveli are antique. And I think that also adds to the charm of this uh, beautiful Haveli. It's not a proper, it's not your average everyday hotel. But imagine like walking through these narrow corridors, living in rooms that have doors like this. Uh, they have beautiful wall decorations like this and imagine having that for a balcony it's so beautiful and this is the this is the second floor now we'll go to the first floor and there uh, if you can see all right uh, that is the there was a dog there his name is jimmy but he can't you can't see him here because i guess the screen is small but Yes, let's go down. We'll meet Jimmy as well. And that's another antique mirror. Uh, it's very... It's, it's in very good condition. Even though it must be like at least 100 years old. But the silver bromide coating hasn't become bad. It looks good. Uh, modern lights in place of old fires. Now... We have come to the first floor, uh, really colorful doors here, uh, but these are probably not old, these are probably new and this is the look of the whole Haveli. I'm, I'm really adoring these pretty paintings on the walls and let's go and show you the room how it looks like it's a little bit messy because i just reached here and unpacked but what's the point of giving you a tour of this haveli without showing you or rather giving you a first-hand experience of what it would be like to live here as a guest so as i, as I said before my room is on the top floor i have my own little cute terrace let's head over to my room it's the whole haveli is in two sections so this section is for the tourists the guests and this section is used by the owner's family and my room is on the top floor there's another room there that's also for guests but that is it is unoccupied so i can show you a tour of this room as well Let's see how this looks. Even I'm saying it for the first time myself. Wow. Look at the beautiful room. It's a 
very nice four poster bed the pillows are arranged so neatly there is AC there is a fan there are enough lights there's a lovely 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 antique mirror look at the beautiful designs oh but these are new these are new uh, stuck on an antique frame and the seating arrangements this is probably a makeshift gym not sure but look at these paintings on the walls gives you the proper feeling of living in Jaipur being in Rajasthan the whole Rajputana feeling and this is the pretty ceiling I really love how pretty the bed is so cute it's like I would love to you know sleep here it's really lovely and here's a look at the bathroom really pretty tiles lovely way the towels have been folded really nice hospitality I love the towels there's a geyser as well that's the Komol and this doesn't look like an antique mirror but I'm not the expert on antique mirrors so don't take my word for it uh, yeah so this is how the rooms look like let me show you my room how exactly the one where I am staying looks like currently just make, made sure to lock this and let's head over to my room which is on the other side of this there's this partition thing and the, these are like really huge steps leading to the terrace I don't know where they go we will check out if we can this is my room it's all in a mess but I'm not going to show you much but yeah these are the pretty antique mirrors in my room uh, the ceiling is really fancy uh, it's like if I just click a picture here the background is automatically good the windows lovely windows I imagine during old times people used to open these windows a lot to lure in some air because it must have been so hot but yeah the room looks amazing and this they have a buffet breakfast tomorrow I'm going to show you what dishes are served I have heard really amazing reviews about that. Let's check it out tomorrow. This is the breakfast spread at Jaipur Haveli. And imagine having this uh, with this view. This is puri, this is vermicelli with veggies, some musk melon, desert musk melon which is really tasty. <laughs> More puris are on the way and uh, cornflakes and some fruits. Very exciting to have all of that looking at this uh, building that has been around for more than 200 years. Pretty paintings, lovely alcoves, really nice to start my day with this spread so this is Jaipur Haveli which is located at 600 meters from Hawa Mahal it's right at the city center it's walking distance from Jantar Mantar it's walking distance from city palace and it's walking distance from Hawa Mahal and Johri Bazaar as well and Babu Bazaar so it's like in the prime location of Jaipur and it's a lovely place to stay in uh, if you are planning a vacation to Jaipur and if you don't mind spending a little bit extra uh, the room that I paid for uh, I think I paid about 4500 per night for this room so the room rates are around that range 3500 to 4500 so if you have if it falls in your budget then this is definitely a lovely place to stay in